Earwax impaction is a common condition that occurs when an excessive amount of earwax, known medically as cerumen, builds up and blocks the ear canal. This can lead to various symptoms such as hearing loss, earache, tinnitus, and dizziness. Understanding the anatomy, physiology, composition, production, and clearance of earwax is crucial for effectively diagnosing and managing this condition. In this script, we will explore each aspect in detail, providing a comprehensive overview of earwax impaction. Earwax impaction refers to the accumulation of cerumen within the ear canal, leading to obstruction and subsequent symptoms. Understanding the prevalence, risk factors, and predisposing conditions for earwax impaction is vital for clinicians to identify and manage this condition. Various factors such as age, ear canal shape, use of hearing aids or earplugs, and certain medical conditions can increase the likelihood of earwax impaction. The external ear consists of the pinna and the ear canal, which play crucial roles in the transportation of sound waves towards the middle and inner ear. The pinna collects sound waves and directs them towards the external auditory canal, also known as the ear canal. The ear canal is lined with specialized skin and contains sebaceous and ceruminous glands responsible for producing earwax. Understanding the anatomy and function of these structures is essential for comprehending the development of earwax impaction. Beyond the external ear, the middle ear and inner ear contribute significantly to the process of hearing. The middle ear consists of the eardrum, ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes, and the eustachian tube. The inner ear comprises the cochlea, responsible for sound transduction, and the vestibular system, responsible for balance and spatial orientation. An understanding of the middle and inner ear anatomy is crucial for diagnosing and managing earwax impaction. The process of hearing involves the conversion of sound waves into electrical signals that can be interpreted by the brain. This intricate process occurs within the inner ear, specifically the cochlea. Additionally, the inner ear houses the vestibular system, which plays a vital role in maintaining balance. Understanding the mechanisms of hearing and balance provides a foundation for comprehending the impact of earwax impaction on these processes. Earwax can vary in its consistency, ranging from wet to dry. The type of earwax an individual possesses can be influenced by genetic factors. Wet earwax is more prevalent among individuals of East Asian descent, while dry earwax is common in individuals of European and African descent. Investigating the types of earwax aids and understanding the differences in cerumen composition and potential implications for impaction. Earwax is not merely a waxy substance but possesses unique physicochemical properties. It consists of a mixture of secretions from the ceruminous and sebaceous glands, dead skin cells, and trapped debris. Additionally, earwax contains antimicrobial properties that help protect the ear canal from infections. Understanding the composition and properties of earwax helps in comprehending its impact on the development of impaction. The characteristics of earwax, such as its consistency and quantity, can be influenced by the anatomical features of the ear canal. Factors like narrow or curved ear canals can predispose individuals to earwax impaction due to reduced clearance of earwax. Understanding the relationship between ear anatomy and earwax characteristics is crucial for diagnosing and managing impaction effectively. The production of earwax is a dynamic process influenced by various factors. The ceruminous glands within the ear canal secrete earwax, which then travels towards the outer ear. Understanding the mechanisms of earwax production helps in identifying potential abnormalities and managing impaction effectively. The ear possesses self-cleaning mechanisms aimed at maintaining the health and functionality of the ear canal. These mechanisms involve the movement of earwax towards the outer ear during activities like talking, chewing, and jaw movement. Impairment of these self-cleaning mechanisms can lead to the accumulation of earwax and subsequent impaction. Understanding the intricacies of these mechanisms is essential in preventing and managing earwax impaction. Multiple factors can impact the clearance of earwax and increase the risk of impaction. The use of cotton swabs or other objects to clean the ears can push earwax deeper into the canal, exacerbating the impaction. Additionally, certain medical conditions, such as narrow ear canals or excessive hair growth, can hinder earwax clearance. Identifying these risk factors is crucial for preventing and managing earwax impaction effectively. Earwax impaction can present with a variety of symptoms, including decreased hearing, ear fullness or pain, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, dizziness, and cough reflex stimulation. Recognizing these symptoms allows for timely diagnosis and appropriate intervention. Diagnosing earwax impaction involves considering other conditions that may present with similar symptoms. Differential diagnoses include middle ear infections, foreign body obstruction, otitis externa, and cerumen plug. Distinguishing these conditions is essential for providing targeted and effective treatment. In conclusion, having knowledge about earwax impaction helps healthcare professionals diagnose and manage this condition effectively, improving patient outcomes. 
understanding its composition, production, clearance, and clinical presentations is essential for providing appropriate interventions.